Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Thank you for joining me today. Hey, I'm trying something new here. Um, I did stream UO a while back, a long, long time ago, with a video uh, titled, uh, like, What is Ultima Online? Um, anyway, this is a game that I have left and come back to, I can't tell you how many times. You know, I play it, I play it, I kind of get distracted by other new shiny things, and then... Something just draws me back. There's something about Ultima Online that draws me back. And so, today we're taking a look at a new, thriving Ultima Online community. I mean, usually, I mean, you can see the, the people moving here on my screen. It's, it's fantastic. Usually, the current free shards for Ultima Online, that's, that is the free servers for Ultima Online, um, you're lucky if you get 20, 30 people on at the same time. Um, this one, this is Ultima Online Outlands. Uh, Outlands is known for having thousands of people on at the same time. Um, a couple months ago, they had 2,000 people. I guess that's jumped up, almost doubled to 4,000 people total players. Um, it's fantastic. One thing that Outlands is known for, other than the population, is the fact that it's a completely unique world. It's a new map. It's not the old Ultima Online map. Um, they're using some of the older skill sets on Ultima Online, which I'm, yeah, I'm not you know, horribly thrilled about. I liked some of the newer skills that they had in, in the, was it Samurai, was it Samurai Empire or whatever, or Mundane's Legacy. Um, this is older than that. So, for instance, I tried leveling up my Spirit Speak skill. Um, that doesn't heal you like it would in the older ones, um, but it, it does apparently let you talk to spirits, so it's still there. Um, there's no ABC archers, as far as I can tell. Um... If you're familiar with Ultima Online, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you're not familiar with Ultima Online, then um, that, that'll probably be confusing. But just the fact that this is a thriving community, and it's promising a new experience, a new map, new exploration, uh, new enemies, although they do have the old ones, you're, you'll still be fighting uh, Mong Bats and Giant Rats and stuff like that. Um, it's try they're trying to breathe new life into... Uh, what is a very, very classic, very, very cool game. Um, there's tons of videos on YouTube, um, especially by a gentleman, uh, his username is like PWN Pwn, Pwn Star, something like that. Um, I followed him recently on Twitch here, been following him on, on YouTube for about a week now. Um, he's actually how I found out about Outlands and the, uh, the thriving community here, um, he streams on Twitch, like, daily. And it's not like a 30-minute stream. This dude streams for hours. It's amazing. And so... I guess... I guess... Where I was kind of going with that, one of his videos discusses Ultima Online and if it's actually still a good game or if we're playing it because of nostalgia, right? Um... He had some good conclusions, some some good points uh, that he made on there. Um, I kind of have my own take on it, and, and and I agree with a lot of his points as well. But this, in my opinion, Ultima Online is a good game that stands by itself. You can do things in Ultima Online that you cannot do that I've never been able to find another game where you have this, as much freedom as you have here. So... Absolutely. Plus, I mean, yeah, there is a factor of nostalgia because I know if I go to a provisioner, I can buy certain items. And when you go here, sure enough, here's the items you're looking for, right? You expect the provisioner to have pickaxes, fishing poles, die tubs, all of that. And he does, right? He also have locks picks, um, stuff like trap wires. There's some additional things that he has in here, right? Uh, training bows, training club, training Chris, things like that. Cool, e cool deal, right? You get a little bit of extra plus what you would expect. Um, so they have, there's been a ton of attention to detail. I mean, the ivy climbing on the sides of the buildings, um, the layout of the land, absolutely cool. Love it, love it. So this is not just some random free shard. There is a reason that this one is as popular as it is. Um, it, in my opinion, like here's a boyer over here, um, so you can get all your arrows and stuff. Um, when I started my character build, I didn't realize that, um, the ABC archer thing was out. So that's, that's always been my primary character is, is the ABC archer. That's, uh, archery Bushido, which obviously this doesn't have Bushido and, uh, um, chivalry. 
that that build type had a specific pattern of attack that was absolutely devastating, um, making it one of the few classes where you could actually solo some of the hardest places in the game. And they don't have that on here, so I'm just a plain Jane Archer. This is a newbie dungeon, so the way this game starts you out, or this version, I'm just going to call it this game. It, it's kind of a new thing. It's a new thing unto itself. It, it plays by the Ultima Online rules, but it is kind of its own thing. So, the way this works is you start out with a new character on Newbie Island, right? It's a secure area. They have a name for it. I, I don't recall it offhand. Um, but basically, it is an island with a little newbie dungeon and shops where you can buy things. Uh, your experience is limited here. Your rewards for killing monsters is limited here. Um, I think you get half of what you'd normally, normally get off of monsters. Uh, you also will never get a rare item dropped by one of these uh, monsters here that you would expect to find in the, in the wild. Um, being rare, yeah, you, you probably wouldn't expect to find them anyway. You know, I'm going to pull this over here. The screen's a little bit bigger than what I typically play on. So, um, this is just basically to get you leveled up to where you can survive on the outside. Now, one thing that is concerning to me is it does seem like this game does have a strong PvP focus. So, oh, come on, dude. There we go. So, if you're, if PV, PvP is not your thing, and it's really not my thing, um, that may be an issue. But, uh, we're going to find out, right? So, my plan today, while I'm streaming, is to go ahead and leave Newbie Island, renounce my new player status, and start exploring. Let's see what this game is all about. I am probably just, you know, you know just uh, throwing this out here. I'm probably going to get murked. If it's anything like original Ultima Online, there's going to be freaking PvPers waiting right outside the, the gate to smoke me as soon as I come through. Um, I have leveled up uh, my hiding skill up to level 70, or pretty dang close to level 70. So I can typically hide pretty quickly. But uh, I can't seem to hide right now because I guess I'm under attack or something. I don't know. Uh, corpser. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. So that sound, that that donk, donk, donk sound. Um, your character, when you start out, if you start out as an archer, you're automatically given like 500 newbie arrows. Uh, once you pick them up, they become regular arrows. Newbie arrows, if you die, they stay in your inventory. They're blessed, right? Um, but you only have so many of them. And after you shoot them then they become regular arrows that drop with your body and you never get them back unless you go and get your recover your corpse, right? So it tells it pops up a little error message saying you can't combine arrows um, for different players because you're trying to combine a regular arrow with blessed arrows. It's just one of the one of the uh, uh, peculiarities of this particular uh, game here. So, it's, this certainly isn't difficult at this point. The newbie dungeon is, is pretty easy. There are areas it does, it does progress and get harder as you go. Um, standard UO etiquette applies. If uh, you see somebody that is getting their tail beat, help them out. Otherwise, leave them to their monsters and let them gain the XP. It's not nice to poach off of somebody else's. Um, kills. So, like, this skeleton came up to me as opposed to him. Therefore, my fight, I can smoke it. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on uh, Challenger here, make sure nobody hurts him, or make sure his health isn't getting too low. He may be AFK uh, away from keyboard, and if he is, then I will help him out, but it doesn't appear that he is. It appears that he's just kind of tanking damage right now, so he may be leveling up uh, physical resistance, or uh, hey, who knows? Who knows? Ooh, big fella. What up, troll? Trolls regenerate on the server. So as you attack them, their health will start going back up. It's frankly a little terrifying. Come on. I gotta get a chivalry... Ouch. I gotta get a chivalry uh, book dang quick because this dude 
uh, he's missing, even though he's level 70 archery. Oh, what's up there? Come on, hit that guy. Hit that guy. What? Don't hit me! 44, all right, all right, come on. Ouch. As you see, even though he's hitting me, it's not doing a ton of damage. Kid gloves are definitely on for here. Um, yikes, 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 yikes. That said, I still don't want to get cornered by him. Ultima Online is a completely unforgiving experience, I will tell you what. Um, one of the things that I've noticed, yeah, your shot hinders your target. So on here, occasionally, randomly, as you're arching, and this is um, before level 70 for archery, your arrows have a random chance to hinder your target. That kind of freezes them in place for a moment. Not very long, just for a moment. But it's kind of nice. Stop regenerating, you nasty thing. He's not like pudding going through a strainer. It's gross. Come on, dude. Yeah, buddy. I do not know yet if they have a uh, house building. Nice. On this server, I'm assuming that they do. I will tell you that uh, gaining money had better go way up. Um... Once you get off of Newbie Island, if you're going to build any sort of house, because this takes forever. What's up there, little skeleton guy? Booyah! Dang, I did a lot of damage. Yeah, buddy. All right. So, yeah, I've been, I, I've been killing stuff for a couple hours now, and I'm up to, what, 189 gold. Now, I have stopped and bought arrows several times. What's she doing there? All right. Sounds like somebody's playing a flag or something. No, I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just trying to see what you're doing. I bet you he's learning lockpick. Um, thieving is a huge thing on here. That's what the that pawn pawn star or whatever his name is pawn star um, guy does on his streams. Is he uh, he thieves off of other people? But they do it like a I, I haven't figured it out. It's like this big cross-section room and uh, with like bridges and stuff and he uses stealth to sneak around and it counts the steps and I don't know. He, he's obviously way further into it than I am. <laughs> um, but it's fascinating to see kind of, you know, where he's going and how he's customized his play style. So, pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. Alright, how am I doing? I have 277 bandages. I have... 235 arrows plus an extra 30. Uh, when you start your new character, you are given these things, dexterity stones and strength stones. I don't know if they are permanent upgrades to your skills or not. So, you know what? We're on a stream. Let's find out. What do you think? I've got two of each. So, your dexterity has changed by 10. It is now 56. Okay. And strength is now 90. Cool. All right, so, what do you think? What do you guys think? Are these blessed, by the way? Oh, fiddle farts. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, are these blessed? Bound to Chinzen, yes. All right, so, good stuff here. I have a skinning knife here. I have shoes that I can sell later. Oh, you get this big book, dude. Check this guy. Check this out, guys. Um... This is your world atlas. And if you have a place you wanna go, it will actually generate, it gives you a couple of options on how to, how it will help guide you there. So, pardon my slurping here. Got some good coffee here. Uh, let's see, if I want to go to like Anchor's Rest, right? You click on it and it gives you the Latin long, the coordinates, the distance to location, 2,055 steps to the northeast. You can get a arrow to that location. It can show you on the world map. It can show you on the local map. Or you can hike to the location, location not yet unlocked. So I don't know if hike to location, is that like, does it automatically move you there? Is it like fast travel or is it like slow travel where you're moving, you just don't have to guide it because it'll automatically guide you? I don't know. All kinds of good stuff. I am in the dark here, and it's stuff we can experience, uh, experiment with. I honestly have not done a whole lot here. Uh, what I've done is I've gone to the newbie dungeon, and I have lifted my 
my skills up enough that I can get off of Newbie Island and uh, hopefully survive at least in the beginner areas. So I've got my archery. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that. Um, if you go above level 70 on any of your skills, you, you lose your newbie status. So I um, just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, anatomy I'm going to unlock and arms lore I'm going to unlock. Um, those, both of those are at 72. Hiding, I'm at 61. Okay, so I wasn't quite a 70. Boom, but I can still not hide when I want to hide at all, ever. What? So I believe... Welcome to Outlands. If you cannot see the dock, please... No, we're good. I see the dock. Boo, there we go. I hid. Look at that. I'm amazing. Usually it's like 75% of the time I hit the button, I hide. But whatever. So, so this should be a new player. New player. Awesome. How do I leave here? Um, there is a way to leave. There should be a moon gate or something around look at the attention detail they have like a little uh like a play stage with musical instruments and stuff so cool they've really gotten out of the way to make this cool looking and i like it uh beetles yeah they got beetles my my friends so let's uh let's see can i do animal lore Boop. level 10 the scarab, okay. You need to be, yeah, it's already bonded, so it's not like I can tame it, but you have to be a minimum taming of 70 to even try. Uh, I don't know what control slots are. See, there's a lot of, I haven't played Ultima in a long time, plus I think there's a lot of customizations on here that I still need to learn. So don't come to me for answers. But if you haven't played Ultima in years, and you want to try to get back into Outlands, you'll have, I'm, I'm hoping this video will give you kind of a idea of what the experience will be like. So, before I jump, let's go to the bank. Alright, this is one of the other things I came with. What is this? This is rental room. So, I can rent a room, but I put my hide, my hiding skill high enough that I really don't need to do that yet. Um, I have some wood. I have some training credits. Those are bound. Wood is not. Alright, so... Let's see, what do I want to... What do I want to hide? Oh, yeah. Forgot my sippy sip. Gotta have my sippy sip. Do -do. I have a feeling, you know, it used to be that uh, this used to help you level up faster, especially level up focus and stuff like that, if you were uh, intoxicated while... Oh, world is saving. If you were intoxicated while um, you trained. So, I get my guy drunk. On the frequent. Just for kicks and giggles, mostly. Alright, so this is a bag of goodies. I'm going to save that in my bank. Uh, I'm also going to drop in my 30 non-bound arrows. Uh, my shafts. I only have 25 shafts, and I have no... Uh, um, put up, put up, put up, put up. I have no... Feathers. There we go. I have no feathers. What's that word? Oh yeah, feathers. Okay, let's try. Let's find a moon gate. Is there a new? Is there a moon gate around here? Actually, it'll show on my little map. Let's see if I can make my little map a little bigger here. There it is. Shelter Island Moon Gate. So I need to go over there. Cool. Let's go. How do I get up there? It looks like we're gonna need to go down and around past the new player's dungeon. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, now that I've uh, consumed a little bit of cider, some delicious, delicious cider, my character now says hick every once in a while. And if I'm standing still while he says hick, um, he like stumbles. So he's like, oh god, oh god. Oh, so the little dots on my map, the little red dots are animals, I'm assuming? People and animals? Just people? I don't know. Camping, swordsmanship, and lumberjacking. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We're going to come around here. Ooh, a ruins. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. I mean, for for this being a 25-year-old... Mm, yeah, 25-year-old game. Man, when this game first came out, it was like, what? Oh, my God. 
Oh boy. We got a whole bunch of people. He who gates with grace. Oh my god, there's so many gates! Oh my god, there's so many people! What is going on here?! Okay, wow! Wow! <laughs> uh, I don't care if these people are vendors or not, this is incredible. Holy smokes! Open paper dawn that you can't, that's not a vendor. Which moon gate do I, I I'm assuming this one, huh? It leads to town moon gates, okay. Oh, that guy just spit fire for reasons. I don't even know. Pardon me, pardon me. There is a lot of people here. I'm a, I'm a little intimidated, to be frank. Um, no blooming idea. Let me drop 200 custom bandages. I probably should have a horse or something. It's alright. It's alright, we're not messing around. We're doing this. Let's go! I have no idea where to go. Privalia is already checked. Shall I travel to Privalia? Privalia? Sure, why not? Alright. Leaving Shelter Island will cause you to renounce your young player status. Your newbie item loses their newbie status and from now on will drop to your corpse should you happen to perish. Other item, other players may now do harmful actions to you such as attacking you while outside of towns or stealing items from you. Okay, so towns are safe. That's good. So you can do the guards a murderer or whatever. Um, a corpse, you may now also flag yourself as criminal by looting items from corpses with blue names or attacking players with blue names. While you are a criminal, other players may attack you freely for the next two minutes. Do you wish to renounce your young player status? Confirm, sucker! Confirm again! Let's go! Boom! Oh, we are gonna die. I hear sword fighting already. I have concerns. That looks like a free-for-all over there. Okay, so we're not gonna go by the free-for-all. What is, what is this, what is this? A tame horse, okay. Pretty sure we got dragons involved. What, what is going on? Schwa! I'm hidden. What up, suckers? Food satisfaction, yeah, I'm a satisfied food guy. This is one of my perks. One of my other perks is hidden stealthing, so. What on earth is going on? That thing looks like a banana. What is that? That is a banana. Well, it looks like a banana and thus is one. Fantastic. You know, this looks like a player home. What on earth are they doing over there? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave them to their thing. What is this? That's just a person. That guy's just throwing fireballs for reasons. Okay. Is this a vendor? These are vendors. Hello? What do we have here? Nothing. Nothing. That's not a good sign. Or it's a great sign. I don't know which. Or orc dung. Okay, that's a bad sign. Why on earth are we selling orc dung? Those are fancy. Spider jacket. 400,000 gold. Okay. Guess who's not going to be buying anything today? Ooh, those are nice. 14,000. Well, that's a little better. Anybody have, like, nice bows? My kingdom for a Yumi. Hmm. Why do I feel like I'm going to die? Because I am. All right, ooh, we got more of these coins. What are these things? Privalia coins. I have no idea what they're used for. Okay, description for display only, do not buy. <laughs> All right, what we got in here? Oh, we got like, you know, something I should make is a new character that does mining, but that's boring, right? That's boring to stream. That's not what we're, not what we're looking for. We're looking for battle. We are looking for gold from the enemies. So let's... a walrus. Okay. 
Let's take our life into our own hands. Explore. What is that big? Oh, wow. And I have a feeling we are going to be leaving the protection. Yep, you have left the protection of the town guards. Timer has started to my death. I need to work on stealthing. Obviously. Bridgen, uh, brigand camp. Okay, well, I'm not interested in brigands. I'm interested in small, easy to kill, but lots of gold critters that I can slap. Oh, that's bad looking. Look at that thing. Okay, what we got? Plaque. I'm trying to read the plaque. What does the plaque say? Uh, plaque just says plaque. Okay, well, um, it's a fine monument to something. Big dragon or whatnot. Okay, ooh. Looks like... Fanciness. Okay, this is just full of all kinds of just niftiness. Oh, hey, 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 we got a rat. Come on, sucker, come, come get some. Come get some. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Yeah, sucker, you're not up to my skills. All right, I've got to get over here to the rat to loot his booty. What do we got? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, what? Should have got me something. Stupid rats. Oh, he needs a giant rat. Ah, thank goodness that uh, giant dragon statue didn't have a giant dragon standing next to him. What is this? This looks bad. We're going to peek. Oh, it's not bad. Wow. This is so pretty. I like their attention to detail. Once again, very impressed. Very, uh, very impressed by their attention to detail. Oh, hey, there's a big fellow. What up, guy? You gonna bring some? Oh, that didn't do much damage. Hit him again. No, hit him again. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hundred and eight. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Um, don't miss. How about we don't miss? And also, how about we don't let him touch us? There we go, there we go. Uh-oh, my thing beeped and I realized my phone had shut off and I'm not viewing my stream. Stream manager. There we go, so if we tried to chat, sorry, I missed you. Chat some more. 38 gold, that's way better than what we were getting. And, skinning knife. Skinning knife. Butcha! Type the value. Oh, that's weird. 230, is that a 9? I'm going to say 9. Boop. I got some nummy ogre steaks. You can't start your day without delicious ogre steaks. Boop. And some leather. Hopefully I'm not going to get over, over encumbered here anytime soon. What's my weight at? Holy crap. 355 maximum weight? Yeah, all right. Um, was there something? Uh, there was there was something you could say in the Ultima Online that would get rid of a corpse. What was it? Uh, shoot, it was really handy too. You just type it in, and the corpse would disappear, and then you weren't leaving trash all over the server. Sorry, guys. I should know that, and I don't. Okay. This is uh, super populated. Like, you haven't been able to go very far without, ooh. Uruk, huh? That makes me nervous. How about we, that's too far away. Shut your mouth. I'm not looking to get murdered here, guys. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's throwing fire and stuff. Ah, he's got bombs. He's got bombs, and that took a lot of health. Nope, nope, we're gonna nope right on out of here. Bloop, hidden. Shh. Nope, yeah, you but you guys back the crap off. Okay, well, maybe I'm not ready for uh, free roam yet. Boop. Okay, we're trying to heal, hopefully I'm, yep, yep, nope, I am not. I'm no longer invisible. Okay, now I'm invisible. Yikes. Forensic evaluation bonus. Okay. And food satisfaction. Okay. And I healed myself for 19. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Okay. So. 
that's a bad direction to go in. Let's try the other way. And if that doesn't work, we'll take a moon gate and we will go to another town that's uh, less inhabited by evil. We'll go with that. All right. Do, 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 do. See, one thing that, that's really set Ultima Online apart, and it's one thing that a lot of the other MMOs have completely failed on, is this kind of feeling of... I don't know. It's, it's like the world is going to operate with or without you. You are not the hero of the universe. You are not going to save the land. You are one of a horde of people. And that is... I mean, that's that's what you are. You are, you, you are not the chosen one. You are not the promised messiah. You are... A regular Joe who is going to get killed a lot because this world does not give a crap about you and does not respect you in any way. And I love that about this game. I absolutely hate playing other MMOs where there, you know, there's this big long thing. You are the chosen one. You are super special and you have special abilities that nobody else has. And then you go to a populated area and everybody, literally everybody has powers better than yours, and you're just like, hey, what is this now? What 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 am I? Am I am I chosen? Is that what I am? Because um, I'm like the worst thing alive right now. I could take him. Let's go. So I lo I like that about Ultima Online. You are only as important to the world as you make yourself be. If you want to be the strongest guy out there, then you have to use strategy, you have to use skill, and it takes time to get to that point. You weren't born amazing. You made yourself amazing. And that is such a huge difference that that was scary. What the heck was that? That modern MMOs just don't get. They don't understand that when they try to make you super special and they make everybody else super special then nobody is super special, right? Right. Kind of like the uh, the whole premise behind the first uh, Incredibles movie. Not to bring Disney into this or anything. But, yeah, I mean, that's... It's a true fact. You, this game doesn't give two cruds about you, and that's what makes it so special. There are places in this map that if if I try to go there, even at maximum level, oh, I'm going to die. I mean, there is, there's no two ways about it. Soloing Ultima Online was one of the hardest and most rare things you could do. Um, simply because your chances of survival were like negative zeros. I mean, you were like, no, 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 you, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. What is that thing? Oh, it's wiggly. I like it. And it's not terribly hard, so I think I can kill it. Okay. Okay. No, you stay away from me. It's all watery, too. That's cool. Come on, kill it. Kill it, kill it. I want to see what I get out of it. No, you get away. Yeah, buddy. Okay. I got, yeah, I got 36 gold out of it. Fair to Midland. What do I get off of it? I get a steak. And more hides. Cool. And I can pick that up. Awesome. Okay, so that's that's not difficult. Not terribly difficult. Hooey. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good, guys. This is this is a good place. This is a, this is a good place. As long as you stay away from those stinking orkai or whatever they were. Sand crab. That's cool. See, that's one of the new things that they've added. Never seen a sand crab before on Ultima. That's tight. <laughs> Whoa. You know, it'd be great if you hit the guy. Come on. I've got to get a chivalry book. And then I have to find some ants or something similar. So that was one of the things you could do in original Ultima, was you find a Solon hive, Solon uh, ants. Ouch. And you would farm them, kind of do like I'm doing now. You kind of kite them around and just damage the crap out of them. You gain levels and you'd get a ton of gold and jewels off of them. 
and it was like the fastest way to make money in, uh, in the early game, right? You know, once you got high enough, you could go farm fan dancers, uh, you know, you know, assuming they had the um, Samurai Empire um, edition added. But come on, hit that guy, dude. What's wrong with you? Fan dancers were a great way to make money as well. Because you could do the same thing. They weren't terribly fast, so you could just basically hit them without them doing too much damage to you as an archer, which is the real advantage of archery, is you hit them, they don't hit you, right? But you could just kite the fan dancers or the soul and ants around and uh, just keep dumping damage while minimizing your own, if you're smart. And it's basically free money. You just have to be kind of patient about it. He's muttering stuff. I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. Let's get some more delicious ogre steaks. Oh, what? No steaks? Oh, there they are. They're just hidden. Whoa, 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 whoa. How's my weight? Weight's still freaking good. I wonder if they changed that. Leather used to be freakishly heavy. Like, you could not carry very much in the way of leather. Okay, I don't know what my dog's barking at. I think there is a cat out in the front yard. So if you hear... Ooh, you don't use the new grid loot. What is the new grid loot? I don't know. I just uh, I just started this uh, my whole journey onto Outlands, and I don't know what any of that is. I just left the newbie island, and uh, I am totally... Oh, crap. I am totally... Uh, Oblivious to all the new stuff. I'm assuming I should probably watch a video on grid loot, eh? Ooh, what? Yikes. In your options, you can turn on grid loot, set a hot bag, and click one time to loot an item right to the pouch. Oh, I see what you mean. So... Will it loot straight from the corpse then? Because um, I, I have something similar turned on through Razor for arrows. Um, so when I out, so when I walk by an arrow, it automatically picks it up and puts it in my bag. So you can do that for actually looting a corpse. That's that would be super handy. Man, I hate these guys. They freaking regen, and it takes forever, and it's like a waste of arrows, really. You will get a new corpse window. Oh, okay. Alright, i tell you what. I'm just going to leave this guy alone because he's regening faster than I can hurt him and it's just kind of a big waste of time. So I'm going to grab my stuff. Oh, and hide. <laughs> Sucker hide actually works. See, that's how hide is supposed to work. He'll wander off eventually while I heal. Although I'm not going to click on heal now because he'll find me. Uh, all right, so let's let's take a look at this while while we're discussing this in your options. Okay, so we've got options. Um, grid loot, grid loot, grid loot. Okay, so it's probably going to be under interface. Let's let's look. Dang, there's a lot here. They added so many more options over vanilla UO. It's crazy. I love it, love it, love it. There's a, there's a lot going on here. Plus, you still have the old Razor screen that you can pop up as well. So, super handy. Corpse open option at the top of general. Do, 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 do. Auto corpse open. Okay, yeah, so I do have that set up. Um, range is two because you don't want to open it up too far away that you can't drag the stuff away. Um, okay. Skip empty corpses. I checked that because that, that, that just made sense to me. Oh, enable pathfinding. That is an option I've been missing. Okay, so that's set. Good. So there's all kinds of good options on here. Sorry, I don't mean to make everybody sit here and watch while I go through uh, menus and stuff. I know that's super boring, but uh, to be fair, it's Ultima Online. It's a lot of um, shifting stuff, uh, shifting things from one back to another anyway. It's a lot of inventory management, so it is what it is. Um, but I will, I, I am trying to minimize that for you guys. So, 
Uh, right, let's, let's see if we can sneak out of here without setting that dude off again. Bottom of general, gumps in context. You got it. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't want to log out. Wrong button. Ah! Okay, general. Mobiles, gumps, and context. Okay. Close all anchored gumps. Uh, if I remember right, the gump is, is the... Like the options or the status screen that's popped up, right? Um, okay. Grid loot drop-down box. Why am I so retarded? Ah, there it is. So, both? Grid loot only or both? I'm going to say both. I don't know what I'm selecting, but yes, we'll, do, we'll go with that. Grid loot. Auto-close grid loot when no items. Use Outlands theming for grid loot. Is that, is that a good thing? So, I'm assuming grid loot, why it's called grid is it's going to, when you get to within range in the grid, it's going to loot it? I don't know. I'm a total noob. I'm sorry, guys. Just graphical up to you. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to do the new graphical because I, I want the full Outlands experience, right? This is this is new stuff. Nope, it gives you a new corpse you will see. What? All right, we're going to have to experiment with that. Let me find something I can actually kill. Ooh, an Ostard. I'm not killing an Ostard. Uh, taming an Ostard would be cool, though. All right, here's an Ogre. That is doable. All right, let's see, let's, let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's right. Eat my arrows, sucker. I mean, he's the size of a barn. It's not like you're going to miss, right? Oh, I missed. <laughs> I was just kidding. I missed twice. That's embarrassing. There we go. Oh, no, you don't. You keep your sweaty palms to yourself, sir. Ah! There we go. Ouch. Hey. Crap. So one thing I should have worked on before I left Newbie Island is taming animals. That would have been a great idea. Because then I could have myself an ostrich to drive around. Okay. So here's the... Here's the guy. Okay. Oh. Set loot bag. I want to loot all the money into there. Okay. So... Just click, I guess. Okay. That worked. Uh, arrow. Hello. Do I even have a chance to tame this thing? Let's see. Tame. You have no chance. Now looting is easier. I love it. Thank you very much. That is a huge help. I really appreciate it. I have so much I need to learn on here. And every little bit that makes it easier is a huge help. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Ogre, what's up? Dang, I missed. I missed again. Oh. Sadness. Yeah, this kind of makes me long for uh, for playing some Morrowind too. Same freaking <laughs> dynamics. You shoot the arrow, you watch the arrow hit your target, and then it says you missed. Dice roll says you missed. I'm like, gosh darn it, dice roll. Ouch, hey, 14 points. Ow. Do -do -do -do. Nice. All right. So we're killing a bunch of these guys, which is great and all, but uh, I think we need to do a little more exploration. Probably should go hit the road and wander around and see what we can find. So let me kill this guy. Ouch. Hey. Because this is, this is helping me level up like crazy, but we got, exp we got exploration to do. Ouch. Hey, stop hitting me. That's right. You hit me, I hit you back. Yeah, okay, so we, And you just click once and it's gone. That's incredible. I don't even care. That is so great. Oh. Oh, what is that last number? Um. Is that an eight? Is that a three? I'm gonna pretend it's a three. Nope. It got angry at me. Okay, that's definitely a three. Five, and that's definitely an eight. Okay, so I don't know what that number was. 
There we go. Oh, so put the meat in my my pouchy pouch. Okay. I'm not mad about that. How are we doing on cash? Dang, we've already made 240 because I put the rest in my bank. So 240 just from uh, scampering around out here. This is nice. All right, I'm going to switch off war mode and we're going to go back to the road. And let's do some more exploration. So, oh, thank you. Hey, I will not butcher your name. X, Y, I, O, but thank you so much, dude. That's awesome. I love getting new followers and I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys like watching me play Ultima, I play a little bit of everything, but if you guys are enjoying watching me play Ultima, let me know and I will uh, make it more habitual that I will be on here more often. A troll, filthy troll. Okay, what is, what is, what is, oh, they're fishing. That's so cool. So that's like a bobber then, huh? And that fish is just going nuts down there. So I wonder, do you have to look and find where you see a dancing fish and the fish there? Or is that because the person's fishing there, there's a fish dancing there? I don't know. Worth investigating. And I'm very thankful that they didn't kill me because uh, I'm outside of city limits and uh, horrifically vulnerable. Wow. Wow. It's, that is so cool. The attention to detail here is just phenomenal. I love it. Love it, love it. So I should probably, hopefully, maybe find some harpies. Oh, a crow. Ooh, that scared me. I was an eaten. Oi, oi, oi. I'm like, uh, I'm not ready for an eaten. Thank you. I'm going to leave the crow. I need some uh, feathers, but uh, that's, that's not going to happen from me killing crows and... And random birds. Maybe if I find chickens. Chickens are pretty deplorable. Crows crows are cool. Why is everything on fire? <sighs> Everything's on fire. That's a good sign. Look at that. I got waterfalls and stuff. Gorgeous. Love it. So, giant battle here. Very nice. Um, a caravan animal corpse. Sadness. Wooden chest? Ooh. Is it a bad eye? It, it, will it, like, flag me as a criminal if I loot a chest? I doubt it. Let's find out. Ooh. What is this? A bedroll. Can I take the bedroll? I took the bedroll. Fantastic. What else do we have? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bloody equipment. Probably can't have that. Hey. Ooh, there's a bag. Oh. Nothing in the back. Okay, what else we got? D dead? Oh, we got beverages. You know my chin's in. He likes his sippies. Um, so take those. And a key, says you? What manner of key? A chest key. Well, I believe I can make use of that. I'm going to need another bag. Dead? Okay. Is that where I was? Yeah, that's where I was. What else we got? This is fascinating. So this is just like a random loot drop, huh? Or a random like place to get loot. Ah, another bottle of spiritus beverage. And an apple, says I. Oh, a peach, says you. Lovely. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. A heart. That's a bad sign. I'm I'm not uh, I'm not all about the finding random heart. Ooh, a radish. Oh, that's so cool. And another beverage. Glorious libation. Why does everybody here have... Oh, so much good stuff. Okay, we're going to start We're gonna start storing in the bag. Because I have too many libations and not enough space. My bag down here is getting a little cluttered. So I can't just take the bag, I don't believe. That's probably stationary for putting in new stuff. But let's find out. So, bag... Yeah, you can't pick that up. Okay, cool. So, we're just... We're just looting the tar out of everything, which is super nice. Another carrot. All right, we did the chest. All right, so I think there's a dead body. Oh, that's the horse. Horses have no stuff on them at this point. Okay, good. Sweet. I love it. All right, that was neat. Can I traverse? Oh, I can traverse the depths. Look at this. Oh, this is cool. 
All right. Oh, I'm so going to get murdered and all my stuff taken. <gasps> oh. What is this guy? Clothes for the holidays. Ah, fair enough. All right. Wow, this is so cool. I'm excited that we that you can do your own player housing because that was one of my favorite parts of the other Ultima Online shards that I used to play, uh, like Excelsior and, and some of the ones before that. Um, Oblivion Shard was one of the ones I played on. And uh, always got to build myself a nice little house, and it was always so nice. Oh, that's rad. Somebody's muttering stuff. What is that big lizard guy? A lizard man elite hunter. Is there pre really? Are they so, hmm. so do they have the built the house editor then, or is it just nothing but prefabs? Barding chance zero. <laughs> Difficulty forty-eight. Um that looks way higher than anything I could handle. Wow. They have hundreds of prefabs. Oh, well, that's acceptable then. I mean, it is kind of fun to build your own. What What in the world? That, oh, it's an arch. It's an archway. Ah, see, so cool. Okay. Awesome. All right, so Terran. So this is, is this the approaching the town of Terran then? Terran? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Looks like it's a shortcut to town. Ooh, there's like a... Ooh, okay. What is this guy? He's already damaged. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm fighting a slime. Bring it on! Bring it on, slime! Oh, he's quick, too. And then I'll check the sand crab. Oh, he's regenerating, too. Yick. There we go. Nice. 21 gold. Hey, I'll take that. Can I skin anything out of a slime? Ah, uh, you can skin meat and leather. Hi there, person that I do not know. And with whom I am afraid because I do not want to get PvP murdered. <laughs> Although it doesn't seem to be as big a problem at the moment as, uh, as I was anticipating. Alright, so what is, what is this guy's level? Let's see, animal lore. Level zero. I think I can do that. Let's go! Nope, nope, nope. Ooh. Okay, that was really not much damage at all. What was that? They bite down on your armor, temporarily reducing its effectiveness. Ah, dang, 53? Cool, do I get crab cakes? That is a great question, and the answer is I get steak. Hey, we're good with steak. I'm not upset about it. Cool. All right, what else we got over here? Lucas the Tanner. There's a couple PKs that frequent your current area killing harvesters. Hopefully they will leave you be. Uh, what now? Shush. <laughs> um, I don't like the sound of that. I need to get in the city like, run right now. No PKs. For me, please. <laughs> Sheesh. Is this a safe area? Is this... You are now under the protection of the town guards. Yes, yes, it kind of is. Okay. So what do you do, sir, other than tanning? Buy. I can buy leather from you. Okay. Skinny knife. I already have one. Blank commodity. Okay. Ooh, armor. See, that would be a good idea to kind of armor up a little. My armor right now is more than a little embarrassing. I don't mind telling you, I have girly armor and uh, bicycle shorts. So, um, there we go. So maybe I should invest in some armor. I don't know. Some leather armor might be affordable. Right? Where's the bread? There we go. Chest piece. I don't know. That does it do... This is one of those games where you actually have to look at stats. So we run around in a freaking mankini because it does better defense. Um, 
All right, arms lore. Armor rating of 12.5. So what's the armor rating of the leather thing? Uh, arms lore. Guess you can't look at it until you buy it, huh? Well, that's... That's a deal, I suppose. Um, gloves. I should get gloves. Oh, crap. Let go! There we go. Now let go. Try that again. All right. Let's see here. Leather arms, leather pants, leather thing, and leather gloves. Should I do a gorget? Yeah, let's do a gorget. Sweet. 240, and I still have a little bit of gold left. Pop. Oh, hang on. Let's evaluate it. See if my mankini has to stay. Oh, my mankini's better. <sighs> I'm tempted to say screw it and not, not even mess with it. So, all right, throw one of those up there. And that guy. And unfortunately. We're gonna have to stick with a mankini. Oh, that's terrible. Let's put a shirt on over it at least. There we go. There we go. At least my shame is hidden. For now. We'll go and throw those in there. Need another sippy sip of sip stuff. Cool. Alright. Oh yeah, I wanted to sell that leather to this guy. Let's see. Sell leather. Dang, it's only one GP per. Well, all right, it's free. It's free money, so ain't gonna complain. Except, nice. Okay, so I'm in town. I don't think I can get. I think I have to leave town to go back into town. That's risky business, especially if there are PKs around. All right, lumberjack. How about now? Am I back in the protection of... Yes, I am. Nice. Okay. So we found ourselves a town. Check this out. The Prevalian. Is that where I'm at? Prevalian Footman. Hello, Footman. Uh, Alright, hang on. Let me grab my phone. I can see what's going on here. Hello? No, I did not. Sorry. Hey, yeah, no, I, I wasn't even holding my phone. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, it certainly is. My goodness. <laughs> right. How well, funny. Uh, no, I have I have today off. Um, I'm just doing some chores around the house, stuff that needs to be done. So. <laughs> All right. Well, if you need anything, let me know. Alright, bye. Alright, sorry about that, guys. My uh, dad is, is elderly and called me twice, so I figured I better make sure he's doing okay. And he's doing okay. No worries, guys. I feel sober? Ew. Gross. Don't drink alcohol, kids. Unless you're 21. And then drink, don't drink alcohol in, in excess. We'll, we'll go with that. I'm going to be the nice guy and just tell you, don't drink in excess, because bad things happen when you do. Or something. Uh, Baker, what do you got, guy? Cooking. That'd be something good to learn, because I've got, uh, well, camping and stuff. You know what? Can I sell? Can I sell you meat? Will you, will, will you buy meat? You have nothing that you would... Okay. Can I always make sure families... Yeah, absolutely. Especially my dad. He's, he's a great guy. 
um, without getting into too many details. Um, he's he's uh, hitting 80 <laughs> and has some of those age-related issues that come with, with uh, being around that long. So uh, we try to kind of keep an eye on him. So he randomly calls my phone pretty frequently. So that's why the first time I was like, eh, it's probably just pocket dialed me. But second call, yeah, I better look into that. What's wait, whoa, 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 whoa. oh, ripe? I'm like, what is that guy's guild name? Ripe. Okay, I did not read that correctly. Hello, don't kill me. Okay, I thought I saw a bank. Did I see a bank? Oh yeah, it's over here. Mini map is your friend. There we go. It is so cool. Oh my god. It is so cool to see other players. A rock bar. That's from Elder Scrolls, dude. Right? Is he just... Okay. The picture shows an ostrid. Well, either either. That's cool. Oh, there's a dragon in here. Don't mind the bank. There's a dragon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's the whole problem with being drunk, is every time you hiccup, you drop whatever, you like close whatever gums are open, and it makes it a little inconvenient. How we doing? We got 305. We're making progress, guys. Yeah, there's some imported models from other games. So cool. I am not opposed to that. I think uh, the more the merrier. So, sweet. Okay, so we have 11 meat. I have a peach. I have some carrots a radish oh it's a turnip my mistake dang it I hiccuped again <laughs> ah well this is kind of my thing on the old um, Ultima Online I used to play was uh, my character was always drunk makes things a little more difficult but I do think you level up at least focus a little bit faster if it's not focused meditation one of those two so, all adventures and citizens of Avedon, be on the lookout. The roads and wilds of our beautiful world have become more dangerous of late. Encampments of our enemies have been spotted in numerous places. Yeah, no kidding, like those uh, orc guys that, uh, that set me on fire and chased me down. And I almost died. It was terrifying. I am not a fan of that. So, yeah, no. Dangerous indeed. Okay, so is there a moon gate here? Was that did I pass the moon gate? That was down here south, wasn't it? We can moon gate somewhere else as opposed to exploring this whole place on foot. Ultima is a huge game. Thought I saw a moon gate. I probably should buy a horse, shouldn't I? Uh I don't know. Let's go see what's on the other side of the street. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Squire Molly, the provider of vegetables. Oh, well, that's lovely. Oh, marksman. Can you train me marksmanships? Animal lore. <laughs> oh. Wow, you're a person. You're a NPC, not a person person. My mistake. How about you? Nope. You are also a footman. I'm confused and lost. We're gonna just gonna leave that alone. And we'll go under here. And... Ooh, there's a cage and a dead guy. That's that's a good sign. Okay. So let's see what's over here. I want This purveyor of vegetables is fascinating to me. The pourer of drinks. Entirely more interesting. Huzzah! Right? What do you got, guy? I got some more cider. Okay. Ale. Um, there we go. Okay. Pitcher. Pitcher of ale. Pitcher of cider. These pitchers are great, by the way. Um, because they're the same price as the regular ones, and I think they hold more, so you can... That's why I bought the cider the way I did, than the jug. Yeah, buddy. All right. What's this? The Virtue of Justice by Justice. Oh, well, that's... Can I read it? I can. 
Justice, founded on the principles of truth and love, is the devotion to truth tempered by love. Eh? It is the wisdom that perceives what is right and what is wrong in human action. To take the gold of others is injustice, not soon forgotten. Take only thy due. Attack not a peaceful citizen, for that action deserves strict punishment. I'm peaceful. I'm just throwing that out there, guys. I am a peaceful citizen. <laughs> Kill not a non-evil beast, for they deserve not death, even if in hunger they attack thee. Okay, if it's hungry and attacks me, it's going down. I, I don't care about your book. Just saying. You attack me first, you're eating my arrows, and heaven help you. Squire Philip, the carrier of arrows. Well, oh, ooh la la, we have a lot of things. Hiding, tracking stealth. Ooh. Stealth would be good. Do I have enough to learn anything? Yep, we're just going to learn all of that. There we go. Now I have some stealth skill. Not a lot. Cool. And I don't think I have any gold because I put it all in the bank. Look at me. All right. Uh, sheepy sheeps. I'm not worried about sheepy sheeps, although if there was chickens... That would be a different story. I needed feathers for my arrows. Redmond the beggar. Well, I'm right with you, Redmond. I don't have any gold on me. Ooh, who's this, like, tree guy? What is going on in here? Oh, is that a player? Click. Invite to party. That is a player. Well, hello there. Farmers. Um, is this version of Ultima the one where you can go around and pick up... Um, crops that are like naturally kind of a spawn in farm areas or is that is that a different version let's see moo gourd oh I can pick up gourds I can pick up several gourds nice okay can I eat said gourds this food is paltry and is barely satisfying farmer your food is paltry and barely satisfying that I stole off the ground and probably wasn't ripe. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. Alright. There's somebody else. Ooh, there's a Queequeg. Oh, they're fishing. Oh, how lovely. Okay. I don't see the dancing fish like I saw in that other person. Vern the thief. Ah, thieves have good skills to learn. Let's go say hi to the thief. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, I have it in the bank. Does that matter? Some versions of Ultima, you can just take it out of the bank, and some versions, you can't. You feel sober. Unacceptable, sir. Oh. There we go. What is this? This is a healing potion. Yeah, we're going to keep that where I can get to it. All right, hey, thief guy. Thieves Guild. Allows stealing from wild creatures. Allows use of thieves codex. Gray hand. Red hand membership allows stealing from wild creatures from blue players. Allows use of, of Thieves Codex. 10% bonus to black goods. Upgrade chances will turn gray to player attackers. Can never report murders. Wow. Oh, but you need 5,000 gold to join, and that's not really my bag anyway. But that's fascinating that they have that. That is cool. Um, lock picking, snooping, poisoning. Oh, yeah, I'm going to build a, uh, a chef carrier a character, just so you guys know. One of my favorite things to do in Ultima Online. I'm going to build myself a chef character that makes all kinds of delicious foods, and then I'm also going to train them up in poisoning. And then I'm going to poison my muffins and my quiches and my whatnots, and I'm going to hide in a populous area, drop them, and wait for somebody to pick them up and get poisoned and then giggle as they run around going, Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, not enough to kill them. That's not my thing, but it's kind of a prank, and it makes me laugh. Train stealth. I've already got that. Remove trap. Stealing, not my thing. Hiding, definitely my thing. Uh, what, what do you got to What do you got to sell here? But yeah, no, that's it's hilarious. I used to have video, but I think I lost it. But I used to do that off and on, and it's always freaking hilarious. Disguise kit. What? Is that like a temporary thing? Because that would be so cool. Like you get five minutes with the disguise and then it disappears. Oh! Saint Crab. What's up, guy? Ha! 
How am I still missing? Three in a row? That's embarrassing. Four in a row? There we go. Nice hit. Let's hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Yeah, there we go. Dang. So does anybody remember which build it was for Ultima that allowed Spirit Speak to heal you? Because I haven't been able to do that yet. Like, you can do Spirit Speak, but, uh, like that. But it doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to do anything. Something about summon followers that require energy. Not really sure. A dog. Aw. I would tame you, doggo, but chances are... I'm not long for this world, and I don't want you to suffer the same fate as I. Do, 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 do. Can we access these crates? I wonder. Nope. That was the walrus over there. I swear it was not me. One of the most malicious things you could do in old Ultima, you could probably do it here, is as a bard, um, aggro two cats against each other. Um... And just leave them. They both have terribly small health bars, but their damage is so minimal that they can never actually kill each other. So it turns into an infinite, never-ending cat screaming match. And it just, it never stops. And it goes, I mean, days. It's hilarious. And it's just, rawr, 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 and it just keeps going. Uh, anybody in the area is, hates your guts so bad. It's kind of funny. Where's the grave of Sir Arthur O'Kellen? Where may the grave of that good man be? I don't know, but if I find his body, I'll loot him. Do, 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 do. Hello, woods person. Behold, I mean you no harm. I am simply drunk and exploring. And I know not where I am going. Da, 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 da. Oh, a forest ostrich. See, I gotta train animal taming. Gosh darn it. We'll get there. Look at all, that, look at all this cool stuff, though. Okay, the dock master. These little carts are seem to be really popular little houses. What do we got? Which means they're probably affordable. It just says brass sign. The service very custom. The skills have been heavily reworked. I don't want to bog you down or ruin the fun you're having with it. Just know that it is not like any server you ever played for. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that feeling. I mean, just having the unique map, like. Original Ultima, I, I knew every nook and cranny, um, you, you know, it, and including the different realms, you know, like, like Luna and, uh, and all those areas or whatever it was. Oh, hey, giant rat, what we got? And this is, I, I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm, really what I'm doing <laughs> other than exploring and finding the towns. So this is, this is very, very cool. It's nice to have a fresh experience after playing this game for so long. But it, it, to be fair, it has been a few years as well. See, I played this back when it was paid only. I guess I guess technically it probably still is. But I played before the Stygian Abyss came out um, back in 98, 99. And uh, I played for a little while and then stopped. And then came back in the early 2000s and played on some of the free servers for a while. Free shards. And then left. And then, you know, just like I said at the beginning of the video, I just kind of keep coming back. Because the game is just that good. It's it's not nostalgia that brings me back. It's just this is a fun game where you can literally do anything. I mean, there's 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 hardly any limits to what you can do here. Oh, poor bear. Sure, I'll take that. And boop. Oh, it's already been carved. Okay. What is this? I cannot travel from that ob gate. Travel from that object. I wouldn't imagine I could gate travel from a dead bear, but... <laughs> okay. Tindy, is it? I see you and your horse, and I am going to vanish. Shloop. I have a lot of games in a rotation, so to speak. I always return them. Yeah, no kidding. And so do, you know, so do I. 
And, but it's always kind of a similar type of game. One of the games where you're not the main character, right? You're just a character. Uh, like Elite Dangerous, even though they've recently done me wrong by um, basically just shutting off all upgrades and uh, updates and all that stuff to console, which I, I play on my Xbox on that one. Um, but the game always brings me back. Just being, you know, um, Morrowind is one of them. Oblivion, eh, not so much. Skyrim, yeah, of course. Everybody comes back to Skyrim. But uh, Morrowind always draws me back as well. It's a cool little thing. Guildstone. Oh, ye old cheese shop. Oh, cool. What is that? That is cool. An empty soul jar. You got a lot of souls there, guy. Kind of make me a little nervous. You feel sober. Gosh dang it. A llama. Tame. You have no chance of taming this creature. There were some things you could tame at like level zero. I don't remember what, what, what they were. A deep crawler. Um, animal lore? That's too far away. I don't know that I want to get much closer. I have a feeling this thing's going to wreck my shiz. Level zero. Shall we? I have a feeling this is not going to end well for me. Yeah, I've hit him twice and there's barely a mark on him. Oh lordy. Oh lordy! I was stuck on an invisible bump there for a minute. Thank goodness that stunned him. Shish. Okay, this this might be doable. Hopefully we get a good payout for it, huh? Oh, don't start missing now. Don't start missing now. There we go. There we go. How about you hinder that guy again? Saving. Oh. <laughs> Okay, it's like, I'll wait for you, and then I'm going to jump on your face. Uh, no, no, I prefer you didn't. Stop missing. There we go. Hit him again. There we go. Keep hitting. Keep hitting. Don't stop. Oh, boy, you missed. I really don't want to take a hit by this from this guy. I really, really, really don't. Oh, come on, hit your target. Hit your target! Oh, don't get stuck on geometry! <laughs> you missed. <laughs> oh, lordy, this thing is terrifying. I don't even know what this thing is. It's huge. You have to be a taming level of 80 to tame this thing, but it's a level 0. wonder, can you ride it around? Because that would be kind of... I don't know. I don't know if I'd be okay with that or not. It's pretty spooky looking. Oh, he better pay out well because he's taking a lot of arrows. It'd help if I hit him. Oh, come on. Oh! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> can't see me! Wait. There we go, there we go. Keep hitting up, keep hitting up, keep hitting up. Get them! <laughs> come on now, come on now. I'm just leading them all the way through all these houses. There's some guy sitting in his house just watching the random noob go by with this freaking bus sized bug chasing him. Ah, another day in Ultima. Um. 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 Where'd you go? Silly question, I know. Where'd you go? Did he teleport all the way back to that beach?
You have the feeling he teleported all the way back to the beach. He went back to his spawn. I got too far from his spawn, didn't I? Gosh dang it. Alright, hopefully does he still have damage? Or did he reset his damage? Nope, he's still damaged. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, ugly. Let's go. Let's finish this off. And then I'm gonna go after that weird tentacle thing. Nice. Stun him! Give him the give him the stunner! Ow! That one hurt! Oh, I'm stuck! Nope! 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 Oh, ha, ha, ha. Victory is mine! Dang, I got good stuff! What? 236! That's worth it! Wow! What do I get? Uh, I'm gonna say 427, maybe? Nice. Oh, I don't have to do that. I can just do that. That's right. Nice. Well, that was worth it. I hope. That should be enough to buy some arrows. Alright, weird dancey thing. I've killed one of these already, so I'm not too concerned about it. Ew. The sloppy sounds are just a little bit much, though. Oh, that's so gross. Ow! Hey, it helps if you point in the right direction there, guy. Nope. No tentacle whips for you, sir! Nope. 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 You're not gonna corner me, sir! Your weird floppiness. Oh, that was a good hit. Jeez. Yeah. All right. And? Did he? 492 uses left. Good deal. Yeah, I'm still going to take that. Do, 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 do. Nice. Dude, that make that gump, that, that gump thing makes this so much easier. So much better. Love it. No sandy crab. I'm not going to mess with sandy crab. Okay. So, how are we doing on gold? We've killed a couple of things. 323 gold, nice. And what is this? Unidentified, okay. Hey, I've worked on that. Let's uh, give it one of those. You are not certain. Okay, that's fine. You're still not certain. Okay, it's a little taxing. There we go. Durable defense studded arms. Arms lore. Armor rating five, okay. Let's see how they stack up to my purchased ones. Meditation penalty, penalty. I don't like penalties. All right, arms lore. Bloop. Okay, so these actually do protect a little bit better, but they have some penalties that I'm not excited about. Whatever. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's all good stuff. Okay. Got some arrows. Got some more arrows. Well, I didn't think I could take it, but we took him out. Good deal. All right. I was a little intimidated to actually come out of the world, out of, off of, uh, off of Haven. What is it? New Haven, Haven Island, Newbie Island. But this has actually worked out pretty well. We've been fortunate. We haven't been PK'd yet. We got a bunch of good stuff. Dude, you don't even know. When I was playing original Ultima, I would never, like, never go to Tremel because that was where you get... Or Fluka. Flucia. Whatever it was. I never went to the place where they actually had PKs because as soon as you come out of that moon gate, man, you get, like, immediately smoked. A broken idol. What? What does that... What does that mean? A Slayer. 6.7 difficulty. Shall we? Oh, he's damaged, too. Oh, God! He's got range attacks! Hit him harder! Hit him harder! He doesn't move, though. That's nice. Um... Ow! Ow! Would you kill him already? Oh, 
Oh, that was scary. Yeah, I'll take some of that. Oh, it's magical, so you get magical stuff. Cool. Oh, stop attacking me! Oh, yep, nope. Well, this is a not safe place to be. We are going to just keep on going. Ah! All right. Let's see here. This is where the uh, burning <clears throat> place was, wasn't it? <coughs> and all the all the items that I collected. Okay, let's let's heal up because that was bad. And then hide. Do do do. -do, -do. Alright, what's my status effects here? I'm hidden, forensic eval bonus, and food satisfaction. Nice. Let's do that again. And hide. Oh, there's a little mong bat on the little island. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Nice. Alright, how's my arrow supply doing? 41. Um, I am in critical er need of arrows. All right, let's pull this map over and let's see. We want to go. Wow. Um, keep going, I guess. Okay, we want to go back up to the Terran Moon Gate. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Shrink that sucker down again. Like, too far, too far to go this way. Perfect, okay. All right, now that we've healed up, let's go to that town up here because that was a nice little place. And let's go supply some arrows. Do do do. All right. Hope I don't get a have a uh, content issue when I upload this to uh, YouTube. I always upload my videos to YouTube to kind of back them up because Twitch likes to delete your stuff. Oh, that's right. That's a tunnel in it. Um, having the music in the background is very enjoyable, but sometimes they're like, uh, nope, that's copyrighted. And then you lose your ability to have your stuff on YouTube or at least have it with any sort of audio. Shallow water. Oh, okay. Not worried about that. Just want to get rid of that. Okay. Prevailing marksman. Herbalist, mage, tinker, jeweler, tailor, town crier. Oh, and here's the bank. Okay, so I got 30 regular arrows. I'm going to go ahead and take those. <clears throat> got some regs. I don't use magic yet, but it's not a bad idea to start collecting regs. And magical spells, obviously. What are these? These are cure potions. Don't need those yet. Okay, got the regs there. Forty-two leather, nice. We can sell that for a handsome profit. We have three hundred five. Let's take five, and we'll just leave it at three hundred. And we can just add it, add it by a couple hundreds, and just keep stacking it up. Cool. Um, anything else that needs to go in there? So I can put my lumber in there. It's not like I'm using it at the moment. Steaks, I have 27. Cool. Alright, let's find some arrows and somebody to sell my 
uh, stakes and leather to maybe in here. This looks like an eatery. So, oh, nope. I want, yeah, I want to sell. I'm not selling you my beverages. Buy my meat. Buy my meat. My meat is delicious. Buy my delicious meat? Nope. <laughs> Darn. What? Okay, what else? What else? Scribes, tailors. Taylor might buy my um leather. Nope. Just kidding. What was Alonzo? Tinkerer. Yeah, you're not going to want anything I got. Okay, what else do we have? Weaponsmith. Armor. Armor will definitely buy leather. So. How does an armor not buy leather? What? Miner. No. Hey, come Come backer! Quit running for me! Well, piddle sticks. You guys all suck. It's baker, real estate agent, provisioner. Provisioner might. Can you go upstairs to this to work? Okay, who are you? Architect? No. Map maker? No. Real estate broker, no. Uh, Marsha? Aha! Well, you're not going to buy anything that I want to sell you. <sighs> carpenter, shipwright, carpenter, salvage foreman, dockmaster, barkeep, cook. Ooh, a cook. A cook might want meat. If a cook doesn't want meat, I am concerned. I believe you were the cook? Yes. How do you not buy meat? What is wrong with you? What kind of cook are you? My meat is fresh. And you just want alcohol. Well, tisk, says I. Tisk. Very well. All right. Anyway, I think for today, we have an hour and a half of goodness of Ultima online fun that uh, we've been able to share. Um, I think this has been good for one stream. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for uh, sharing excellent information. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. Um, I usually stream on Fridays, uh, occasionally on Saturdays. And uh, depending on what my work schedule does, um, that may change up here, in, uh, yeah, but it'll be a couple of months. So, um, But yeah, I will try to be around. Thank you again for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed Ultima Online um, Outlands, let me know, and uh, I will try to stream some more of this. This is kind of a, it's kind of, honestly, for me, it's kind of a first look. I know I'd spent some time leveling up on the newbie island, but getting out into the wilds was kind of new and exceptionally wild. I think this is great. Everybody should try this game. Um, I will put a link to this game in the YouTube description. Um, so hopefully we can get some more people subscribing to this game and, uh, and fill it up. So that's going to be the plan. More of the merrier. Um... Will do. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, it's been it's been great. I'm looking forward to some more exploration, and I'm looking forward to streaming more with you guys. So, you guys, have a safe one. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.